You can't get me to say anything bad about Dad. I wouldn't think of it. The man gave you everything. That's right. You are what you are today because of him. He didn't make me shoot those people, if that's what you're getting at. But he did teach you to shoot. He was rated an expert marksman in the Marines. We went hunting together. What did Mr. Capshaw tell you about Charlie Rodriguez? He said he was a jerk. He was always picking on Dad. But Dad couldn't do anything because Charlie was the boss. Was Dad worried about losing his job? He said they went over budget on the site. Somebody had to go. He knew Charlie would pick him. And then what would happen? We'd end up without money or food or a place to live. And that's why you shot Charlie Rodriguez? Dad worked hard his whole life. This jerk was going to ruin him. And you couldn't let that happen? I love him. He loves me. Thank you. Tell me about Amy Lane. Who? She's the first person you killed. I, I, I didn't know her. Nice lady. She had a daughter. Just eight months old. How about Larry Spelling? We get counsel's point, Your Honor. The defense is willing to stipulate the defendant shot three people at random. Move on, Mr. McCoy. What's the worst thing that could have happened if Charlie Rodriguez had fired Mr. Capshaw? We could end up homeless. The government could come and take me away. And that scared you? Yes. So you didn't shoot Charlie Rodriguez to help Mr. Capshaw. You did it for yourself. Huh? Your attorney has been arguing that you shot these people out of some compulsion to protect Mr. Capshaw. But the truth is, you were only thinking about yourself. Isn't that so? No. Dad would come and get me. We're a family. Not like them. He loves me. He would come and get me. a verdict we have how do you find we find the defendant justin lafferty not guilty by reason of mental defect 